Hey guys, so I'm just gonna show you guys quick what I got in my work bag real quick, which is the Camelback Hog. Um, on the outside I got a big water bottle that I take to work. There's no um, water bottle holders on the outside, but um, you can easily tie a piece of paracord around um, your water bottle and just hook it through um, the buckles or attach it to a D-ring or something like that. But uh, I drink a lot of water, so that's that. On the outside, I have a little nursing patch. Um, in this front pocket, I keep my wallet, uh, my keys, and a pen. Um, and the pocket's pretty reasonably sized. It goes to, down to about here. Um, it's perfect. I put my, like I said, I put my keys in it. Um, if I take my badge off before I leave, I put my badge in here. Just stuff that I want to know where it's at always and easy to get to. Next pouch is probably pretty full. Um, I got a book. I have some papers. I have some lotion, some hand sanitizer, chapstick, more pens, some backup medication, um, pen light, uh, an energy drink, deodorant, got a couple, got a CPR mask, gloves, pepper spray, knee brace, whistle, I'll show you a couple EDC items here that I keep in this pocket. Um, so I just got a couple, or a pair, set of gloves, The uh, got the rubber on the outside, they're pretty thin, when it gets colder I'll keep an extra set of hat and gloves in here probably, um, if not in there in my car I definitely will. But so those are, they take up no weight, no space, so those go in there. Just in case, I keep my Swiss Army Farmer in there. And then I got my $20 Bandit EDC pouch. I don't think this has changed too much. Um, first aid, um, right here. And the kind of like an Altoid survival kit type deal. Got a water filter, a space pen, my uh, some Kevlar cordage, um, fire steel, my Petzl E light, some duct tape, bandana, the Gerber dime, what else I got in here? some jute, some wax jute, um, the Streamlight Micro Stream. Uh, a water bag, one liter water bag, just kind of some emergency stuff. And then I got the CRKT Doug Ritter, the small little fixed blade that goes in there. I like to keep it pretty small as far as this kit goes. Um, just something that in a pinch could, you never know when you're going to need some of that stuff. I use my flashlight all the time because I work night shift. Um, and some of that other stuff. You just never know when you might need it. So, and I like to, I'd rather have it on me, with me, instead of sitting in my car. So I have other kits that go in my car, but um, if I'm at work, I might not be able to get to my car. So I just prefer to have it on me. The big pouch is where I keep my lunch, snacks. Usually keep a Ziploc bag full of snacks. Trail mix, crackers, granola bars. Um, spark energy drink mix, my planner, um, stethoscope, what else we got in here, uh, bible, another pen, and my clipboard with papers. Um, that all fits really nice. And then in the back, um, compartment where the water bladder goes is where I keep kind of some extra paperwork so I have a big stack of papers that it's like um some manual so in this back 
hydration bladder pouch. I keep backup papers. I gotta carry around lots of manuals and um, paperwork and training guides and whatnot. And I don't like to keep them in my uh, clipboard just because it gets big and bulky and heavy. So um, there is my work bag slash EDC bag loadout. Um, I'm gonna be doing a few other videos that will include this bag, and I'll be doing loadouts with those too. So um, stay tuned for more, and thanks for watching.